Hey guys, it's Maria. Thank you for joining me today. My daughter and I are going to try and make some candles and this is the natural soy wax candle making kit. And we got this kit from Hobby Lobby and it comes with this container right here and the soy. And then it came with the scented oil and a, cup, a bunch of tea light containers plus another big container. But I also bought this from Hobby Lobby. So I think we're gonna use the small mason jars so we're just going to oh it came with the with the wick so I think I'm going to put glue dots at the bottom just to make sure that the wicks stick to the container and then it also came with the coloring chips and I bought this extra this is the candle thermometer so we're gonna make the candles today and let you know how it turned out start it's already going oh okay well Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting mini glue dots on the wicks here, but I don't know if that will make a difference. But I think it will help get the wicks to stick and not shift when we put the... Is that even in the middle? When we yeah. put the wax. So that's what we have so far. But I think... Should we also do this or we don't have enough wicks anymore? No, oh, we're out of wicks now. We only get six wicks. now. Okay. It's a cute right. jar though. Yeah, but that's what came with the pack. This one and the four tea lights. This was extra. We got this from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off or something like that. But that this, these two were extras and then we got the candle thermometer. So we'll see how it goes. Of course, I can't cut this properly. <laughs> okay, my daughter's helping me now. She's the one that's going to pour the wax inside the thing. Should we pour it all? I mean, maybe just a little bit, maybe half. We'll see how it goes, I guess, if it melts or what. Yeah, I mean, whatever, so, it's an experiment. Let me see how much it's is an experiment in anyway. Okay, okay. And we have our pot here that's already boiled. I wonder if it'll float. It's floating. <laughs> oh, oh no, we need to put more candle wax. The struggle is real. I think we need to put more wax. Hold on, I'll help you. Okay, mistake number one. <laughs> Take <We've>, two. <laughs> we filled it with so much water earlier, so Watch the me pot was burn myself on this. Boiling <laughs> or floating. I don't want the handle to be anyway, whatever. Yikes. <laughs> okay, that shouldn't happen. Well, we don't know that. I think we should, yeah, we should do that. Oh, really? Yeah, I think we should just, yep, turn it down. <laughs> this is trial and error. No biggie. We won't. Okay, stop boiling now. I guess it shouldn't be boiling. So brought to a boil. Brought to a boil, but it shouldn't be boiling now, should it? Well, then they should say that in the instructions. We can use this one. <laughs> okay, is it starting to melt though? Oh, yeah. Ew. There you go. I feel like I should have a stick. Stick? You want like a... Bless you, Bella. <laughs> this dog scared me. Bella's making candles with us, aren't you? Hi. Oh, all right. Is it melting? Yeah. I'm not told. Yay! Okay. We'll get a stick. I'll get a stick. Uh, we just put the thermometer, and it's supposed to read what, babes? 150 or 180? 150 first. Bring the wax up to around 150 degrees Fahrenheit and then add the color square. So we have to wait until it gets up there. Okay. And we're using a wooden stick. We're at 140 right now. I wow, I that was quick. But it's so clumpy. It is still? Yes. Yeah, Has it melted yet? Not officially. I have to break up the clumpy thingies. Okay. What if I 
mix it. Maybe that'll work. Yep. Well, that's kind of cool looking. Mm -hmm. Of course, I can actually. There you go. <clears throat> I just have the camera on top like this because. Uh oh, I knocked it. Oh, my bad. Okay, I can't see if it's melting because I'm angled in a sort of weird way, but is it melting? You're taller than me, so. It's almost completely melted. There's just one okay. little speck left. Alright, I'm gonna pause this video then until it's all melted. Okay, now it says since it's um, and the temperature is 150, then we can add the color chips. So we have green. If it'll come out of the <laughs> so irritating. I guess it depends on not all of it, right? Just one or I'm two. I'm pretty sure it's because that's gonna be too dark. Just get it's like chocolate, so yeah, just get one maybe. What one row? Yeah, one bar. Like one bar first. We'll add it gradually. One row or one bar? Because a bar is one like bar. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try it. Ew. Oh, okay, I like that. What? It's turning. I can't really see because I'm so short. Here. Oops. There you go. <laughs> I like that. See how dark it is? I guess only one chip, huh? We can use the others later. Are we gonna add glitter? Everything is just so cute with glitter, don't you think? Yeah, Maybe. as long as it stays, but we have to wait for it to cool down in order to add glitter, I think. Yeah, that's the glitter. When it comes to the stir agitatedly, which is a stupid term then I think we can add glitter then because if we add glitter it's just going to go to the bottom right now. That's true. We should add glitter when we put... Actually, we should put the glitter in the container. Mm-hmm. Is it dark? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Now we have to wait for it to cool to 120. Okay, how do we do that? Turn down the... Okay, just to recap, it says we need to, once you add the color chips, then you need to let it cool for about 120 and then add the entire half ounce bottle of fragrance into the melted wax and then blend vigorously. So I guess that's the next step. So the temperature dropped to 120, so my daughter is now going More to like pour the the oil and that's peach mango that one wasn't included in the pack so oops oops so stir vigorously right agitatedly it says agitatedly so stupid agitatedly what am I gonna do can I show your beautiful face <laughs> no I'm ugly <laughs> This is so much fun to do in the summer, huh? I you know it's hot as hell, but mm -hmm. whatever. It is. It's about 115 degrees F outside right now. It's better than going outside. Oops. All right. So should we it's pour? Nice. I think we should. You need to take the um, thermometer out. We have to blow dry the glass again so it sticks better. Okay. That's what it says. So on to that. I'm gonna do, oh yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna do the staring. All right, now we're going to pour the wax. Ooh, that's cool. It's a what, bit there? Yeah, mm-hmm. It's 
at me. Yep. Yep, that's, that's fine. And then what? Right there. I guess if there's left over, then we can always do the tea lights, but... Sure. Ah, we have enough for the four tea lights. Or maybe we'll add more to that one. To Which the big one? one. The big one, that one. This one? Yeah, just a little bit more up to the rim, I guess. Right here. Yeah, and then this one as well. Oops. Well, that's what the paper's for. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like that the wax is... the wick. Moving, yeah. I guess we should have... What we should have done was put um, a skewer or something, wrap it around. So I guess for future reference. Okay, so now we move this and we will do the tea light. Cool. Uh, that's cute. Okay. I'm signifying like crazy. My god, I can't believe we have enough for tea lights. Oop, uh, oh, well, that was a close one. Okay, I guess add more on this one. Hang on, let me fill this one up. Well, we have too much now, so. That's okay. So yay! <sighs> we'll be back after a couple hours, I guess. And we'll let you know how it turned out. Yeah, that one's definitely starting to solidify compared to the jars. So I guess with the tea light, it's faster. Yeah, probably. And There's not as much mass. Newer. It's been... Yeah, so we have the timer on just to figure out how long. It looks pretty good so far. The edges are starting to dry a little. Are yeah. they? Even for the jar? Well, I can see a little bit of it. Really? That lighter color. That's why soy wax is so much better. I hope we this will work out really. Right. It's super hot. You know, it's so nice. Do we still have the other container? Four? That we put the wax in to show the true color. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll get it. Where is the container? Oh. Looking pretty nice so far. We have chopsticks to make sure the wicks stay up nice. Can you see the color? And that's what the color is going to look like. A little bit. Yeah. Looks more blue to me though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's green, but oh, I guess it's bluish green. Okay, so three and a half minutes almost in and got that far. Okay, so now six minutes and 43 seconds in. Starting to become a little more solid. I don't know if it'll actually show up, but there you have it. Okay, so we are now almost 15 minutes in and these got quite solid. Now I can squish it and I won't break it. Kind of looks nice. I like the color. The candle on the right side is turning more I lift it. It's nope. turning lighter. I'm not going to lift it because that would be trouble. Now you can actually see the top starting to get all chunky and weird looking. I wish our lighting was a little better, but eh, I wish our lighting was a little better. Does that help at all? Maybe. So it doesn't look very green, but it's still a nice color, and we're thinking of adding glitter to our second batch if we make a second batch, which we probably will. There you go. Okay, so almost 25 minutes in, and we have more solids instead of liquid. That one cracked a little on the side, but I wonder eh, why. No biggie. You live and you learn. I wonder why. What yeah. did we do wrong? Honestly, I have no idea. Air bubbles. I don't mess with wax, but what? that looks nice. These are officially done. You can poke them all you want. Lights. Really? Yeah, they're done. For sure. These though that one's still need a little more time. Turn. It's the middle one that's although it is. A little bit. You can see it they're in the They're like camera. weird spot things. Yeah. Where it's becoming a little more solid. But that one is going nicely. The third one, it has a even though it has a crack in it. But no one cares. Thirty seven minutes in. Wham. I'm beginning to get super impatient. I just want them to be done already. <laughs> My god. Cool. It looks like it's closed though, so maybe about an hour and a half it will be completely solid. Yeah, That's I mean, my bet. What's yours? <laughs> an hour and a half is so 30, long. 37 minutes, so I think it's about an hour and a half because it's still, the middle is still soft. See? Yeah, so far, so good. Uh -huh. Yay. I want to add glitter, but something turquoise said that we could, as long as the glitter wasn't flammable, I guess. So they said the Martha Stewart glitter would work, so 
Maybe if we do a second batch, we'll add glitter to it once we put the candles, or the candle wax into the jars. Ta-da! All right, so it's been, what, Jess, about an hour? Hang on, let me check my phone. Oops, this isn't my phone. <laughs> it's been about an hour or maybe more. Oh, 50, 58 50, minutes. 58 minutes. And so far, so good. I mean, it's, it's cracked a little, but... Yeah, it cracked a little, but we did okay. I mean, not bad for first-timers. Uh-huh. <laughs> really looking at the instructions, but... Yeah, exactly. But it looks really nice, and it smells really good. It's, it's what, peach mango? Yeah. The wicks are trimmed now. That one is better compared to... Well, this one, I think, is still starting to The jars are improve. cute. The jars are cute. And I just wish we had more of them. The soy is really nice to melt and it wasn't hot. It feels pretty smooth. Mm hmm. And it smells good. So, you guys should try it. It's a fun set. Head on to Hobby Lobby and try this for a summer fun activity. Thank you to my daughter <laughs> for helping me with this project. It was so much fun. We'll see you on our next video. Bye for now.